Hello, folks. Do you like me mask? <laughs> Can you go there? Eh? Anyway, hello. Welcome back to Dave's Allotment Garden. I brought something over today, which I'll show you. I also have to get lots of things planted out because the greenhouse is getting chock-a-block here. I'll show you that in a minute. I'm going to, first of all, get the kettle on. I'll see you in a bit. Right, that's better. Cup of time. Ah, cheers. Ah, it's been glorious weather now, folks. I think we've seen the last of the frosts up here in the northeast anyway. I've been coming over after work for a cup of like an hour and a half, you know. Um, just to put her around. I've started putting my onions out last, well, this week. So I'm going to finish off putting my onions out today. And I'm going to shift these Swedes over to the cooler greenhouse. Blah, blah, blah. First of all, this, I brought something over from home. Which I'll show you now. These are the sweet corn that I grew under the light. If you, if you had seen me other video about the SF Spider Farmer Grow Light, these are them. And these are the sweet corn that I started off weeks ago out in the greenhouse. So, as you can see, there's a bit of a difference there. These took three weeks to grow under the grow light. These have taken about six weeks to grow under the natural light. So anyway, now that the natural light is starting to catch up with the, the unnatural light, I'm, br I'm going to bring the sweet corn over because they need potting on before they go out anyway. So that's a little job for us. There's some more sweet corn. I've also brought over some of the tobacco plants. If you can see there. They're doing all right. So I brought one of them, one of the cell trays over to the allotment here. And I've left one in the house under the light. See which one grows best. So I'll just put that down there for now. Like I say, there's quite a few things changed since the last video I made. So I'll crack on and I'll show you what's what when it happens. Okay, where's my cup at? Season me. Right folks, I've come outside to do some potting on today because it's too warm in the greenhouse. And as you can see, I've got my stupid gardening hat on. So I mean business. <laughs> Get your stupid gardening hats on folks because the sun is a shining. Right, anyway, I'm gonna sit here, pot these uh, sweet corn on into the little bigger pots on this glorious day. Mind you, I haven't had any rain for a long time now. I've been having to come up, like I say, after work, mainly to do the watering, because everything is bone dry now. You, you need the water, folks. Right, I'm going to use this uh, new horizon, because I'm putting on and I'm not using them for seeds. But I will show you later the outcome of what's happened with the seeds that I did So. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, like I say, I'm just going to fill up some um, cups, pot on this, pot, pot on these sweet corn here, and listen to the bird song.
Right, so that's one done. I just need to find four more cups. Do them. So I'll crack on with that. Then I'm going to get the rest of them onions out. So I'll see you in a bit. So as you can see, here are my onions. Like I say, I started planting them out last week after work. But I want to get the rest of them out today because they're bursting to get out the pots. Looking good. The roots are just starting to come out there. So I'll show you what I was doing. I'll show you all the rest of this later on. Sorry about the jerkiness. I haven't got me a uh, gimbal today. So I've decided to put me onions here this year. I've got a couple of rows in there already. Now I know two years ago, three years ago, who knows, I can't remember now, but I had me onions here and they got white rot. Now, this bit of land here hasn't been used for a while, really, like I just dug it over in the past couple of months. So hopefully the onions should be all right there. Uh, so I'll just crack on, get the rest of them out, do the usual, I'm not bother filming it. Um, I've lately forked the land there. I'm going to add some fish blood and bone and some fertiliser and blah de blah de blah and just plant them, out, plant them in. I've got 50 there so it should take us to about here. So like I say I'll just crack on with that. You can't see anyway because of the sun. Look there's my shadow. Right enough of that. I'll crack on. See you in a bit. Well folks, that's it, my onions are in, as you can see. Now I've got a little bit of, well it's not spare land, but I've got a little bit of extra land here prepared. So I'm going to get them sweet out this afternoon as well. Um, I'm also going to put some Charlotte potatoes out, because I feel like it. Anyway, I was just looking, I've just noticed on my uh, troll here. Look, it's got some writing. I've never noticed this before, folks. See if I can focus. Can you read what it says there? Eh? Get it. I kind of get it because it's in the shade, eh, that shadow. So, it says, The love of gardening is a seed once sown that never dies. Cool. How true. Right, that away folks, that away. my potato row sorted out. I have some potatoes here as if they were planned. 
Here are the Charlottes. Let's give you a bit of a close up there. As you can see, they've got lovely chits on there. And these were kept in the dark. In the dark. <laughs> Gary, in the dark. Lovely chits. So I'm going to crack on. Whoops. Let's make sure. Oh my god. I can't believe it. <laughs> It just fell on the floor and the chit has knocked off. Oh, hey. Right, I'll get another one. Well, this is live TV, folks. <laughs> um, anyway, oh, I can't believe that. I'm going to crack on, put these titties out. I'll get another one. Give us two seconds. Right, I've got another one. Nice chit on there. Can you see? Sorted. Right, how are you? Let's go. Right, so that's the first row of potatoes in, apart from the ones I put in last week. Now it's time to put these sweet out. As you can see there, they're doing quite well in these pots. It's time for them to go out. They've been sitting outside there all afternoon. So they should be all right to just go straight in the ground. I've been preparing the land there. So let's go and plant some. Uh, <laughs> start again. So let's go and plant some swede.
that's the Swede in now as well. So there's only one more thing to do and that's give everything a good watering. Now I'm speaking a little bit quietly here because fantastic news folks, fantastic news. The guitar, the guitar nest box. Well, I was just having a little mess about in here just there before and the great tits are back. Hey, <laughs> get in. So we're going to have a family of great tits again in the guitar bird box. Fantastic. So, like I say, there's only one more thing to do and that's give everything a good watering before I go. I think I'll give myself a good watering as well. So I'm going to get the kettle on. I'll see you in a bit. Right folks, that's me done for the day. I just thought I'd start you off on a little view of some cherry blossom. The tree is absolutely covered. Both trees are absolutely covered. So the birds are going to have a treat again this year folks. Um, I'll quickly show you around the rhubarb. It's over there, it's doing alright. I'm going to have to quickly show you around because I've only got 8 minutes left to tell you about everything. Yeah, look. But a cup, eh, uh, bluebells are starting to come up. Nice. The uh, wildlife area is starting to come to life there. There's still some frogs born in the pond. So now we're coming out of the wildlife area and into the grown area. As you can see there, the onions, I've given them a good watering. And they're liking it. I've netted over them Swede as well because uh, there's, we get a problem with pigeons around here and they'll have them straight up. So I haven't been doing anything else around here. Oh, wait until you see me skip find. That is part of it. Two chairs. What do you think the rest of it could be? The garlic here. I'll get out of the sun. That's doing all right still. Um, and I'll give the row of potatoes I've put in a good watering as well so that's the first row Charlotte I'll come tomorrow after work probably put another couple of rows in see how it goes there's no sign of potatoes on this row yet like just zoom me out there a bit there's no potatoes in this row yet but I didn't expect there would be the broad beans are liking it standing up straight still the never-ending artichoke never stops growing. Comfrey, that's doing all right. That's going to need to be uh, chopped back soon. Because it needs to go into the comfrey juice maker. Anyway, back onto the tour. The tulips are dying off now, as you can see there. But now they're being replaced by these beautiful flowers here. Look at them. Lovely them, like. There, there's some more lovely flowers on Annie's little plot there. Lovely. A rose. I noticed there's a couple of signs of buds coming on there, which is all right. It's always good to see a little bit. White rose on Annie's little plot. The sweet peas here. They're going to be standing out for about a week or so and I'll put them in the trench ready for a lovely display. Oh here look there's me skip find. Can you see it? Hey hey. Glass table, umbrella and four chairs. Spot on. Right I'll have to be quick because I've only got five minutes left folks. I'll show you in the greenhouse everything's looking fine and dandy. The sweet corn doing good these dinner plate sunflowers doing all right and look i take it back <laughs> folks that uh, wilkinson's compost seems to be okay you've just got to keep keep it soaked egg i fill this every time i leave i fill it with water not full to the top like to about that deep so everything gets good soaking and, and look so there's the chocolate cherry Mammoth ones are up. 
and the teddy bear ones have just started growing. The marigold, eh, uh, aye, the marigolds, doing all right. Purple sprouting broccoli, doing all right. Pardon me, folks. The shallots, they'll need to go out soon as well. That's some more cabbies. And look, the blue scotch kale, which are the heirloom seeds, 100% germination. And now that was a, a mixture of the hum uh, not Humax, that Wilkinson's compost and uh, some of the clover. So it's done all right. There's the Godzilla broccoli as well. So that's canny. The lettuce that I sowed a couple of weeks ago is up. All these beetroot will be needing to go out soon. The Dutch round head cabbage from the heirloom seeds is up. There's no sign of any cos lettuce. No, not a problem. That's broccoli. Some more broccoli. And look. What does that say on there? Giant beet. And what does that look like there? Something grown. There's another one grown there. So I've got some giant beetroot. There's the sweet corn. The gentle je country gentleman sweet corn's up as well. And some more uh, chocolate cherry sunflowers and the teddy bear sunflowers there. No sign of the mammoth one and I've just noticed that's a sweet corn. So everything's doing canny there. Melabelia hasn't come to much. Pity. Well I can just buy some. There's me cabbage seeds. Air uh, cabbage seeds. There's me tobacco plants. I'll be sticking them out there soon. And look folks, another da -da 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 moment. The long cucumbers have started to grow. Woohoo! These cabbages will be going out soon as well. Getting quite big there. Give us a look at this one. Looking nice and healthy. Ready to go out soon. Oh yeah folks, I sowed some zinnias. Look, look. Within a week, the zin zinnias are up. Amazing. So I sowed some other ones because there was love lies bleeding in there. I'll show you that in a second. Um, but I sowed these a week ago and they're up. These are all zinnias. So that'll be canny. The tobacco in there is just stood still. Uh, there's a few dahlias here. Not many. They are the first sowing of cucumbers. As you can see, they've just all died off for some reason. No sign of the jalapenos, but as you've seen on me spider farmer video, the jalapeno plants are doing fine in under there. Right, I'll show you this. That's the sweet corn from under the lights. No, I don't. These are the same variety. Now these ones have got a red stem. These ones haven't. So. The unnatural light gives them a red stem. But we'll see what happens when they go outside. These two tomato plants I got off Ray aren't doing anything. So luckily he's given us some more. Haha. <laughs> Look at that lettuce. Mmm. That's just about ready. Ready to go. That's little gem. And what a little gem it is. Spot on. Aye, so look. Love lies bleeding. I potted them on into separate cells and they're doing all right. And like I say, Ray give us some more tomatoes, which are doing much better. I potted them on, like I say, last week sometime. Uh, this week, Monday, I think it was. So they're all right. We've got one, two, three, four, five, Shirley or Sweet Million. One of the two. Potatoes. Look at First potato I've sown, that's romping away. And 10 pence. Put that there. Look, the potatoes in the 10 litre pots are all up. Fantastic. So I'll be earthing them up soon. Uh, right, folks, sorry about that. Uh, as you can see, I have to use my phone for the end of the video because my memory card ran out. It wasn't my batteries this time, it was my memory card. So anyway, where was I? 
You've seen the lettuces, you've seen the gutter peas, they need to go out soon. These grape cuttings are doing fine. Uh, I don't think there was anything else to show you. Was there? I don't know. Love lies bleeding, I've seen that. He has the potatoes in the pot filled with lovely, lovely stuff, hopefully. We'll see how many potatoes we'll get out of that. Like I say, once the potatoes actually start growing, I will fill it up a bit more. But for now, see if we can get any growth whatsoever. Right, is there anything else I can show you in here while, while I'm on? No. So I'm going to go and sit down with a drink of pop. And I'll sit there and I'll sign off. So I'll see you in a bit. Ah, right, there you go. Nice little table, nice little umbrella, nice drink of pop. Cherry Cola, one of my favourites, apart from Iron Brew. Cherry Coca-Cola, Cherry Coke, Cherry Coke. Ah, aye, anyway, that's it folks. I've had enough. I want to go home and get me tea. I'm sorry about the end of the video on my phone. I'll, I, it'll be all right the next time. I'll make sure I, I bring my memory card with us, plenty of spares and all that kind of thing. So, until then, I hope everybody stays safe, takes care and all that kind of thing. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking and subscribing. And I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to hit that bell. Whatever that means. See you in a bit, Reed. Bye.